A Pennsylvania fake elector and giant Republican Party donor is being accused of not paying a cybersecurity firm he hired to find voter fraud in the 2020 election. Uh, according to Anna Bauer, court source correspondent for Lawfare, Bill Backenberg is being sued by the New York-based cybersecurity company XR Visions for refusing to pay for services rendered that he and another had hired them to do. So now, the details here, let's get into it. Uh, Backenberg and Stephanie Lambert had hired the company to specifically look at voting machines in Fulton County, not in Georgia, um, which, again, uh, there's some irony there because Trump kind of in trouble, you know, hit with some RICO charges for trying to overturn the election in Fulton County, Georgia. In this case, it's Pennsylvania. So now, this job uh, would have paid the company about $550,000, uh, and they went and they did the work, they did the job, they looked to find some any sort of election fraud, but they didn't get paid. What happened? Well, it turns out, uh, Backenberg didn't get the results that he was looking for. The company found no evidence of voter or election fraud. To which I say, of course, whoopsie. But actually just, of course, because there just wasn't fraud in this election. <laughs> but that said, Backenberg uh, is like, you know what? Just forget about the evidence. Well, I, I'm mad. Now, here's the thing. This is the fourth known cybersecurity firm that's investigated the 2020 election. Trump hired two firms off the books, Sympatico Software Systems and Berkeley Research Group, but it was unknown about a year or two after the fact. They all found no fraud in the 2020 election. Of course, there was this one, and then the Cyber Ninjas. Yes, the Cyber Ninjas. Uh, so they didn't, all of those, all of those firms went in, they looked, and they found nothing. No evidence of fraud. That said, these guys who are looking for fraud, and, and by the way, Backenberg is also a fake elector, as I mentioned. Uh, they had some sour grapes about the whole thing. Uh, because the Lehi, uh Valley News reported that not only was Backenberg sued, but when being served the process, uh, you know, for, for this lawsuit, he assaulted the process server. Wow. So now the court filing read, in March 2022, Lambert and Backenberg entered into another agreement to have XR Visions perform a forensic analysis on voting machines in Fulton County, Pennsylvania. Lambert represented the county, but falsely told XR Visions that she had been authorized to hire the firm, per the report. So she said, oh yeah, no, we, we've got, oh, don't worry, we, we, we're, I'm authorized to hire you to look into this very real issue of election fraud. But it turns out, of course, she was not authorized to do so and currently is in trouble for, again, being a fake elector. Uh, now, after Lambert and Backenberg expanded the scope of the contract, they were on the hook to pay the company about $550,000 for the work, the work that was completed. They did the work, didn't get the results, decided not to pay them. And it actually got worse. So now, look, the company, in their work, by the way, it told the two Republicans the machines were highly insecure, but that there was no evidence of tampering or that they had been hacked. So this kind of hits on something that I've long advocated for, better funding for election security. I actually do care about election security. Unlike the fake calls for election security, I think that there's a couple of things that you could do that would really help. One of them being hand kind of paper ballots. And you can go back videos years and years ago before this election, before Trump, uh, and you can see me advocating for hand counted paper ballots. So this is not a new position that I've had. It's just a consistent position. There were problems with these voting machines for a very, very long time. Uh, that said, even though the machines themselves had some security flaws, this company went and looked at them and said, there's nothing to suggest that there was anything that, that was fraudulent that happened. Now, instead of being relieved and concerned, you know, about these uh, apparent security uh, flaws and then doing everything they can to, you know, get the state to patch these flaws and to, uh, or, or to go to a system, again, hand kind of paper ballots, something, 
No, instead, these people raged back in Bergen and Lambert. And you know why? It's because it was never really about election security. This was about giving the election to Donald Trump, who did not earn it. Again, the result, uh, I'm sorry, the report, according to the lawsuit, found that any, it did not find any evidence of election fraud in the 2020 election, and defendants were furious. Hmm. And in the years since the report was issued, Backenberg and Lambert failed to pay the money due, but as I said, it gets worse because the suit claims that Lambert began a defamation campaign against XR Visions, contacting clients and trying to persuade them to end their business with the firm. And among the lies that they've spread about the company was that the CEO was secretly uh, either incompetent or a deep state agent with conflicts of interest. Those lies ended up costing the company work. As a direct result of Lambert's actions, XR Visions lost a contract with the Pennsylvania Senate, the, stu the suit states, and the suit also accuses Lambert and her law firm of two counts of libel, two counts of slander, and breach of contract, among other charges. Uh, Lambert, of course, is uh, her law license is in a little bit of peril as a result of what she's been up to. Uh, now, this also accuses Bakkenberg of breach of contract and unjust enrichment, among other charges, and they seek $5 million in compensatory damages, $5 million in punitive damages, and of course the original $550,000 for work performed in the Fulton County contract. I hope that this company gets everything they ask for and more. Look, I, I'm not opposed to this company taking the chuds to the cleaners because there needs to be a lesson here, okay? That lesson being lose gracefully or uh, stop lying about people when you lose. Just stop. Take your L, dust yourself off, and go try to actually win next time. It's not like it's not possible. Stop being whiny little losers who blame their own incompetence on fraud. Stop. Oh, it's fraud. It's fraud. Everything's fraudulent. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. And it has nothing to do with the fact that you ran a crappy campaign or Trump ran a crappy campaign or whatever, right? Or just got less votes. Again, where's your proof of fraud? Well, we don't actually have any. Okay, well, why don't you go get proof and, and come back and show the evidence. Show the real evidence. Oh, well, we, we tried, but the firm that we hired, the, 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 they didn't give us the results that we wanted. It, it, well, sad day for you. Okay, sad day for you. But, uh, but, you, but, they, but they're deep state agent. You literally hired these people. And now you're saying... What, that you're so incompetent that you didn't do your due diligence in vetting these people? No. Ridiculous. Again, this shows how there are people out there that are so incapable of taking any sort of personal responsibility for themselves, anything that they do. And this, again, is just one of the latest examples. But I think he's got far more to worry about. And I'm speaking to Backenberg here, uh, you know, since he was a fake elector in Pennsylvania. Uh, than an impending lawsuit. But nonetheless, I hope uh, this company is successful in getting at least what they're owed.